Today's video topic is Raynaud Phenomenon. This is a condition in which the blood flow to your fingers, toes, ears, or nose is restricted or interrupted. It can be a primary or secondary condition. As a primary condition, it isn't caused by an underlying condition while as a secondary condition. It is caused by an underlying condition. Types of Raynaud's Syndrome 1. Primary Raynaud's Disease Primary Raynaud's disease is idiopathic, which means it doesn't have a known cause. 2. Secondary Raynaud's Disease Secondary Raynaud's Syndrome is caused by an underlying medical condition. For instance, systemic sclerosis can cause Raynaud's Phenomenon. Raynaud's Phenomenon Symptoms this condition occurs in episodes. Certain parts of the body can become affected, but the most common are the fingers and toes. When it occurs, you may notice the following symptoms. Due to lack of blood flow, the affected area will turn pale or white. Since the tissue has lost oxygen when you feel cold, the affected area turns blue. As you warm up and circulation is restored, you may experience swelling, redness, and discomfort. In severe cases, you can develop skin ulcers. At first, you may only experience the symptoms in one finger or toe. Then it can spread to all your digits within a few minutes to hours. Secondary Raynaud's phenomenon may move to other areas of your body, such as your ears, knees, face, and nipples. Causes of Raynaud's Disease 1. Primary Raynaud's Disease the body naturally responds to cold temperatures by restricting the blood flow to the skin. However, Raynaud's phenomenon prolongs this reaction by not restoring blood flow immediately. This is when you then start to experience symptoms. Secondary Raynaud's Syndrome Secondary Raynaud's is usually caused by underlying medical conditions. It can also be caused by medications or lifestyle habits that can affect your blood vessels, such as smoking and the use of medications that narrow your arteries like beta blockers. Common triggers are cold temperatures and emotional stress. Risk factors 1. Family history Women are likely to experience Raynaud's phenomenon more than men. It is mostly found in teenagers and young adults younger than the age of 20. Frequent exposure to cold temperatures Diagnosis Your doctor will first perform a physical exam take your medical history, and review any test results. Your fingers and toes will be inspected as also your skin and nail beds. Your doctor may also do a more thorough exam to determine the type of Raynaud's disease. Your doctor may ask about specific risk factors for Raynaud's syndrome. Different tests will be taken to help our doctor make the definitive diagnosis like cold stimulation test, nail fold, and capilloscopy, among others. Treatment. There is no cure for both primary and secondary Raynaud's disease. However, it can be managed through medications and treatments. They both have the same treatment options. 1. Lifestyle changes. Avoid substances that can cause your blood vessels to constrict, such as caffeine and nicotine products. Staying warm and exercising can also help prevent or reduce the intensity of some attacks. 2. Vasospasms. It's essential to keep yourself warm if you are experiencing vasospasms. You can cover your hands and feet with socks or gloves. Run your hands or feet under lukewarm water. 3. Medications. Medications for treating this condition help dilate or widen your blood vessels. These drugs are calcium channel blockers, which are the first line of defense. It includes amlodipine and nifedipine. Fofodiesterase inhibitor, which treats circulation ailments like selenidophil. 4. Surgery If you have a severe Raynaud's phenomenon, your doctor may recommend a sympathectomy, but this is in rare cases. The surgery blocks the nerves that cause the construction of the blood vessels. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.